Hello, Scorpio. How are you? I hope this finds you well. So we are going to be doing your person on your mind reading. Whoever you're thinking about, that is who this reading is intended for. And everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. And today is the last day to get your orders in for the same day sale. I did end up extending it a little bit for you guys, but today is the last day. It is a three question recorded video reading for $25 and it will be sent to you within 24 hours from purchase. And everything that you need to know about scheduling that is in the description box below for you. You said the Six of Swords fly out, so we'll see if he finds his way back out into your reading. This is all about the person on your mind. All right, Scorpio, their feelings towards you. We have the Five of Swords. Their intentions towards you. We have the Star card. Their actions and behaviors towards you. We have the Ten of Pentacles. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Wands. So I do feel like somebody could be moving towards you pretty quickly here. Um, we'll have to take a look and see more about that in a moment. This person is viewing you. We have the chariot here. So I do feel like, especially for those of you where you live at a distance from somebody, I do feel like somebody wants to come and see you. Okay. I do feel like they're a little bit worried about something. Maybe they feel like you guys haven't seen each other in a long time and they're worried about how that is affecting the connection, especially for those of you where you guys live at a long distance. There could be a lot of conflict between the two of you as well. And I, I am kind of feeling here that they're recognizing that some, that it's kind of at a breaking point and it's something has to give here. If you guys can't work, come together and work on healing this connection, that it's not going to work out. Even for those of you where you don't live at a distance, I feel like somebody's wanting to just get closer to you because I do feel like they could feel like you're pulling away or they could feel like, you know, we've been in a really bad space for a while. Things have been very hard. There's been a lot of fighting and there's been a lot of breaking up or on and off. And they're recognizing, you know what, something has to give here or this connection is not going to work out. I do feel like somebody's genuinely very worried. Okay. And I feel like they're kind of looking back at the past The thing is, is I feel like somebody's been very, very focused on themselves and not that that's a bad thing sometimes, but I just feel like they've been, it's all been all about what they wanted. Even the Knight of Wands is a card of desires. Um, you know, the Knight of Wands just does what he wants to do in that moment and he doesn't really think about the consequences moving forward. And I feel like somebody here has been so focused on what they wanted, but now they're kind of looking back, um, just trying, kind of hoping to make sure you're still there, but now you're facing in the other direction and I feel like they're realizing wow, I've been making all these other things a priority. I've been doing this and I've been focused on this and I've been worried about this and I kind of left Scorpio behind here. So I do feel like somebody's recognizing the need to move closer to you and the need to fix that here. I do feel like somebody really sees your value, Scorpio. You know, the 10 of pentacles, you know, I do feel like they do see your value. I feel like they do want you in their life and I feel like they're realizing that they've been a little bit selfish, that things have been kind of all about them. So let's start to clarify some things here. I do want to grab what your challenge is between the two of you. We have the Nine of Wands and the potential outcome. We have the Magician. So especially with the Nine of Wands being the challenge, um, you know, I feel like you could be a little bit distrusting because of, you know, this person at this time, everything that you kind of been through with them. I also just feel like you could be tired. And the Nine of Wands is like you've been doing everything on your own. Scorpio, especially you guys have been going through a lot. I feel like you've had... Just a lot that you've been dealing with, a lot that you've been, you know, taking care of. And it's been all by yourself. This person has been worried about them and their stuff. And I feel like you've been going through all these things by yourself. And I just feel like you're kind of tired and you're kind of over it. I feel like you're not, you're not feeling supported. You're not feeling cared for. So tell me about this Five of Swords energy. Why is the Five of Swords here? Why is the Five of Swords here? Got the Knight of Swords. So somebody is going to want to... I expect a message from this person. I expect somebody wanting to talk or wanting to come see you. Okay? 
Especially because that Five of Swords with that Knight of Swords does make the Six of Swords. And that, that is the card that fell out for you in the beginning. So especially for those of you where you live at a distance, somebody is definitely wanting to come travel to see you. Even for those of you that don't, the Six of Swords like leaving a, a challenging time behind and moving to a smoother, like smoother waters, having a transition. I feel like somebody does. They recognize that things have been very challenging and they're wanting to make it better. Tell me about the Star card. Got the Queen of Swords. They know that you guys are going to have to sit down and talk. The Queen of Swords can be a card of, you know, having uncomfortable conversations, being willing to sit down and talk things out. And they know that that's what's going to happen and what needs to happen in order for you guys to heal things here. Now, the Queen of Swords is also having clarity where you didn't before. And I feel like this person was so focused on themselves that they weren't really seeing what was going on in the connection or what was going on with you. And I feel like you guys are very loyal. So I feel like you they just kind of um, expected that you would just be tagging along with them. Like they could just be focusing on themselves and that you were still going to be wherever they left you. And I feel like they're realizing that that's not the case. And it's not about you being disloyal. I just feel like you had your own things going on. You've had so much going on that I think that you've tried to stay loyal to this person, but you've also had to focus on yourself. And I think it's very hurtful. Um, I think it's very hurtful that you've been going through all this stuff. And I feel like this person really doesn't even realize everything that you've been going through. Tell me about this Knight of Wands, or the Nine of Wands here. Why is the Nine of Wands here? We have the Three of Cups. Yeah, you're tired. And I do, I feel like you guys have a lot going on. And I think this is like, you know, in your community, in your family, in your work, there's just a lot. But it is gonna, it's not going to be easy to reconcile this, but I do feel like this person is going to be trying to. Tell me about the Magician. We got the Eight of Swords and the Judgment card. So it does look, Scorpio, that you're going to have a decision to make about, you know, what it is that you want. I feel like you can, whatever you want here, if you're wanting to just move forward because you're tired and you have the death card here at the bottom of the deck, if you're wanting to end things here because of, we'll just say because of everything, you know, I feel like that's a choice that you'll have to make if you want to try to move things forward with this person that looks like they're going to be coming towards you here. So like I said, I feel like you're going to have a decision to make, especially with that judgment card here being present. But that is what I have for you, Scorpio. I hope that this helps in some way. If it resonates, let me know. If it doesn't, that's okay. Just check out your other placements, everything that you need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. And if you want personal prayers for any reason, you can just put a little prayer emoji in the comments down below, and I will go through and pray for you. But if this is where we part, thank you guys for being here, and I will see you soon.